Episode 48 of Hacker Replay. We are, I think, probably going to have a decent amount of hackers today. I was looking through matches trying to find ones that were kind of in the middle. A lot of just blatant cheaters ignored those ones, tried to find, again, some more in the middle, but I, I think a decent amount of these are going to be cheaters. But the first one is a hopefully interesting one. It's one of these two. It's this one on Canal. We have, if it's the right match, Kojo back, who's accusing Prawn.ftw. Um, we'll see how it unfolds, but let's just say that so far, from the file that we have, Prawn is being accused of boosting in a high elo lobby, or at least to high elo. We'll see how he does. Am I still doing guess your rank? Um, I think we have enough submissions to do a guess your rank, but I think I'll do that tomorrow on stream. Okay, well he probably is already cheating. He just did a full spin around to look at all the people through the wall, stared at the four people. He sees the person going left, so now he's running out. Oh, he's a hundred percent cheating. He just lo or not locked on, but got distracted by that guy through the wall. <laughs> he is just blatantly looking at all of them. So, what we're gonna have to try to investigate, though, and we'll look into this after uh, this round is over, at least is, if I'm not mistaken, he is queued with all the individuals on his team, and they are all... Excuse me? Oh, wait, hold on. Excuse me? He didn't notice the Nomad? Bro, he is legally blind, and then he gets knocked by an air jab, and then dies. Oh my god. He is legally blind. Let's watch the last round. So the reason why this was submitted is because they believe he's boosting. Because I believe they're using some type of tracker or something to find out. Because um, they seemed pretty confident. But apparently they are queued with everyone on the enemy team. And these are all apparently diamond or champion players. Meaning that they either got diamond or champion by getting boosted. Or... Wait... We can all agree that he has cheats, right? He is 1 and 5. He has, like, I would say blatant cheats that he is very clearly watching people through walls and pre-firing them. I get stuck with and he like is 1 and 5. I mean, we know he's cheating because of stuff like that. They're just watching him. Maybe after this we'll just scroll through the other rounds and then just like, we'll quickly go to wherever he dies and then just see how he dies. Because how can he be 1 in 5? That is so tough. He also clearly doesn't know the map that well. He finally got a second kill. Maybe he like full toggle now. I just, I can't imagine how he got so little kills before. He dies like right here. But how? He's tracking people through walls. Oh my god, he's so bad. Like, he straight up might just be a copper player who's trying to boost people with the cheats. He lost to that! Diamond player. Probably also a cheater. Actually, no, that's only 12 matches. Gold, plat, 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 diamond. 
um, that they play with them. Yes, four matches. So, Oreo and Spent, they played with them for 26 matches. Oreo, they all have negative KDs. Play with Prawn for four matches. Played with Prawn for four matches, and this guy for three matches. And then who is the other one? I just love Dex. Dream. Dream is a champion. Or got champion in Crimson Heights, never mind. And Diamond. Played with Prawn for three matches. It makes me wonder. There's no way that they didn't know he was cheating. Zero percent chance. They knew he was cheating. And they played with him for four matches. Three matches in Dream's case. So I wonder how many people on this list that they play with are also boosting accounts. But 100% they are playing with him to get free wins. I assume these two or maybe these three probably brought him in to boost. This guy might not have been, but I assume he still was an accomplice on it. He just has the least amount of matches played with him, but they, uh, they definitely brought him in to boost their elo. Uh, thank you for the new sub from Mr. Kai Kai and the 10 months at tier two, Hannah. How's it going? We move on to the 29th at around this time. We have bolo.esp who's accusing Deji. But this is a, a eight round match and I am unsure of how, uh, what's it called? Obvious it'll be, if at all. bothers me that the animations are not in sync in the replays. Thanks for sub quirks. Also, I just realized this guy's cheating. He has elephant skin. The only people who cheat run elephant skin. This is very slow paced, so I should speed it up. They're all coming garage, and he keeps checking camera upstairs. He also keeps looking at his teammate. He just keeps staring at his teammate. I guess maybe waiting for them to run through the door. This is very ballsy, because they could both technically die here. Okay, he looks somewhere where no one's coming from, but immediately look back. No one's on cameras. He kind of flicked over to the guy through the wall and then lined him up. All right, I'm not crazy here. He flicks at him. Like, he was going towards the door. So I guess it could be 50-50 on whether he's aiming at the door or the person, but... So the the only reason why I think it's suspicious is because he's looking at the door, loses the angle, still holds the door for a bit, and then flicks over directly to him. Then he either can't control the recoil or is like constantly accidentally lining him up through the wall because he shot the wall a lot. But that was the like most suspicious thing we've seen so far. Buck is in sight. We're still in slow mo. Like Buck's literally in sight. They have a Valk camera, I assume, because uh, he was holding the ankle and then both on Valk cameras. As Love soon as it. they kill him, he gets off, or a, z a zombie gets off the camera. The person saves the KD. Okay. Is the elephant skin not possible to get or something they like to use? It's just a meme that uh, 
if you die to someone with an elephant skin, they're either cheating or they're a brand new player because elephant skin was one of the first skins in the game and given to players for free. So everyone who didn't spend any money or get any cosmetics would just run the elephant skin on everything, which he is clearly doing. It doesn't actually mean anything, but it's just a, a holdover from the early days. I think you can still get it for free if you just go to the Ubisoft Connect page, but I don't know if it's changed. It literally just used to be like, pull up the overlay and you'd claim it for free right there. This is an eight round match, by the way, but is it just me or does this guy look like he doesn't really know what he's doing? Remember the days when Chris played in a multi- or Minecraft survival multiplayer and was bullying Doggo's house? When? You mean when we did the last update before the most recent one? And I kept saying Doggo's bar looked ugly? I'm still in a Minecraft SMP right now, but uh, I don't stream it. It's just me and my friends and Annie. Okay, so he has the camera up in the hallway. You can see here on the right side through the people's profile things that they destroyed it and then he aims over here. This doesn't strike me as someone who cheats. And now he's holding these weird angles, but then just obliterates that person. And then obliterates that person. Like, what? He doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. And then does that. He got he got a 3k there. Yeah, no game sense at all. No awareness of his surroundings. And just gets a 4k. Headshots only. All four of those were headshots. He basically flicked to their heads, if not was already aiming at their head. Why do I feel like he might have just toggled? Like, I don't think it's possible for someone to have that little awareness and then just go off with a 4K. Maybe it is. But the fact that he didn't even realize where people were pushing from and then killed all four of them seems a little odd. Looks like a soft headlock. It could be. We've seen that before. They just aim in the general vicinity of someone and then it automatically aims their gun at the person's head for them. We haven't seen that in a while. I guess this could be also a... Uh, was another headshot. This could almost be like... We're... Assuming a lot here, I guess, when we say it, but this could be like a shroud situation where I remember when he first started playing Siege, his awareness was like zero. He had no idea of any of the map layouts, of any of the gadgets, but he just walk around and then fry people because he just had such good aim. I don't know if that's the case here. It doesn't seem like it. I can't remember, there was no smoke here before. That time he didn't see the person, even though basically just staring right at them. Again, didn't see them. This is so buggy. 
Another headshot. That is eight headshots now, I believe. Or actually, no. Th seven? I can't remember if the first round one was a headshot or not. This man does not miss the head. Another headshot. So the first time, you gotta remember, there was no smoke, so he actually killed the Thatcher from that distance while swinging. Second time there was smoke, I guess, because of the uh, replay bug. And then, uh, looks out, pushes back, Twitch kills Capcan, he spins around, headshot. Headshot Hibana, headshot Sledge. Second kill he followed us said perfectly, he did. Why am I watching the drone phase? Let's see how he does with the Twitch F2. Could have got a free headshot there if he just wall banged, but he didn't. Just mad because he's better than you? Maybe. No one's better than me, unless they're cheating. It is a fact. What are they doing? Just AFK. Uh oh. They knifed the air. That's what the person on canal did. That's what every hacker does. Usually they have to knife the air to activate their cheats. I don't know why. I don't know how. I just know that that's always a thing. Or I guess activate or deactivate. I believe it works for toggler. Maybe easy toggle. Staring at him through the wall. He was not staring at the guy at the office. He was literally just AFK. Just because the outlines line up does not mean that they are inherently just staring at them. The site is upstairs, right? Like, that's why they have so many people? Okay, I was gonna say. Wouldn't make much sense why they have four people up here if it wasn't. He landed a shot with the Twitch drone. Definitely cheating. Walked into a Capcan trap. See, okay. His awareness there is so bad. Like, he literally sees the goo fly from right to left after he had droned out the lesion, hit the lesion with the drone, Moved into position, he sees the goo come from the right to the left, and he's still holding the elevator. So how is he getting eight headshots in a row like it's nothing? This match goes to overtime, and they're up 0-3, to three, which I think means that he disabled his cheats to not be too obvious. And now they're going to lose three rounds in a row. Another headshot. Did he just line him up through the vending machine there? Gets that kill. I mean, I guess he could have just been lining up the shot in general. It doesn't necessarily mean he was lining him up through the vending machine, since he had seen the lesion. It's another headshot. Ten headshots in a row. Well, or 11 headshots now. 11 headshots in a row. Cap can't try it, I assume. He destroys the healing device that would have healed him. Oh my god. Well, honestly, just from the headshots alone, I'm assuming he's cheating. But we'll, we'll see after when we look up his stats. We still have four more rounds to watch. I assume these rounds he must die pretty early, because there's no way that they're 
going to overtime if he's alive. We're just stuck with this visual bug. the goyo like through the bomb maybe not walls but it feels like he has some type of a soft aim bot because he just has so little awareness but his aim is so good apparently like he didn't even notice him there That was like the first time I've actually seen him have good aim. Actually, wait. Did it aim for him there? It looked like it did. You could, like, argue you could maybe see it, but it almost looked like it was, like, locked on for him. I think he has soft aim, but I don't think he has walls necessarily. I don't think he has, um,. Anything crazy, I think it's just soft aim. I just love Dex, bro. <clears throat> he keeps looking away from the Goyo every time as well. Is he just gonna save the KD? No. Thanks for 22 months, Cinnab. We could have Shroud 2 on our hands. I mean, it's possible. He could just be someone who has zero awareness, but has the best aim ever. But it doesn't seem like it. It honestly seems more like it's doing it for him. I don't know how else to describe it. It doesn't feel like he's the one aiming in this situation because his awareness is so, like, so bad. But then his aim is amazing. We're just skipping through because they clearly lose this round since they go to overtime. Teammate leaves. I mean, it is possible. Actually, no, never mind. I was going to say this could be like a diamond in a silver lobby, but like there's no way anyone with a high rank would have this horrible of like situational awareness. Could just be a CSGO player. I mean, again, it is possible. He could just have really good aim, but. 12 headshots in a row. I feel like even for a good CSGO player, that's tough. He has only hit headshots and nothing else. Figured that was going to happen. Like, literally only headshots. And we'll look at their stats at the end. If they're like a silver or gold with like a 20 KD. We have reason to be suspicious. We saw the drone go by. I was gonna push up on this and be aggressive. Maybe. Oh, look at the Azami thing. Oh, okay, this is definitely not accurate. The Azami thing is definitely fully formed because he's aiming at nothing, or he's actually just that unaware. No, it's definitely that big because like he's aiming at nothing right now. There we go. What? Whatever. So we know they're massive, they're overlapping. Just like my balls. He 
He stopped holding that after they left. Almost like he knew, but... That would be the first time we've noticed him leave something because someone pushed away it instead of pushing through. One's about to come down blue stairs, just came down blue stairs. They did Thatcher EMP, so... That's the first time he hasn't landed a headshot in 13 or 12 kills. Okay. I think I could be slightly wrong. I think that is proof that he has some type of aim assist. Again, I could be completely wrong on this. But watch. Okay, so he aims at the door. He knows Thatcher's coming this way, which makes sense because Thatcher EMP'd and dis er, disabled the gadgets, whatever, right? So he's holding this area. He holds and he's looking at the wall. He adjusts his aim, which is fine. But then right there, it would be very hard, at least to make that movement somewhat natural or naturally. So he turns around, he aims. He moves towards the corner, aims at the wall, flicks over, goes at, like pretty close to him, and then the aim drifts back just a little bit. Like he goes too far, he's still overcompensating, and then it slowly drifts back. I could be just overanalyzing it, but I feel like that means that he has aim assist because it would be pretty hard to do that that accurately. And then, like, every time he moves away, it goes back, which, again, could just be his aim. But it didn't feel natural, because if you watch it on, like, normal speed, it doesn't look natural. Like, right there. You guys see that? Like, when he overcompensates, it looks like it slowly drifts back, and it's not, like, a natural movement. You can notice this a lot more the more you watch hacker replays or match replays in general because you can kind of see what normal movement is like right there he moved his mouse up and then brought it back down but when he was aiming at the thatcher he moved and then it just like slowly moved back or looked like it moved back on its own another non-headshot i think personally that's proof of some type of soft aim because if you just compare that one movement to the rest of his movements, it doesn't line up. This round's oh, over yeah. in 45 seconds. Is he about to just go off? Looks like he is. He's down to literally 1 HP. Last one didn't really show us anything. Uh, I'm going to guess he's cheating. I think he is, again, from that deep dive analysis into his aim. It doesn't look natural in any way. It's like similar to how the console people, when they're looking at someone with mouse and keyboard, and they're like, no, this person, you can tell is mouse and keyboard because of how it moves. So, well, you can kind of tell the same with this. Um... Where's the headshot percentage? I guess we have to do it ourselves. Oh god, this isn't show. Oh no, it's kills. He has an over 50 headshot percentage, but in that match it was over like 70%. Um, he's in silver. I don't think he has silver aim. Which is the weird part, because then that means... So, he has the awareness of like a silver. But apparently his aim is like platinum or diamond level. But he's still stuck in silver. Oh, headshot percentage is right here. I'm blind.
Why is it over here and then headshots is over here? I should reorganize that. Gold three was his highest rank. Gold one and crimson highest. It is a what's the level of the account? I'm blind, I'm missing it. Sixty seven. And that was ranked. It was uh I wanna say he has soft aim, but which, again, for those who don't know, it means that the aimbot doesn't auto-lock straight on the head. It'll be more like a drift. It's like aim assist on console. Not for Siege, obviously, for other games like Call of Duty, where it's like you kind of move your aim and it'll just like slowly drift you back towards them. There was like Those headshots were just too on point for a silver player. But maybe he came from another game? If you look at the headshots they hit the body beforehand, yeah, I did notice that. A lot of time they were aiming at the body and they'd still get a headshot, um, which could be from soft aimbot as well. Could just like be correcting their aim for them, even if their aim is aimed somewhere else on the server. Like, the bullet's going over here. Uh, so that's possible. I, I don't know. I just love decks, bro. Next match. We're already at 40 minutes and we have four more matches to go, so we kind of have to go through a few of these. We have Robot Falcon who's accusing Trash Dot Daddy. Uh, where are they? Maverick. This is a six-round game. I think the first two shots they were aiming at the window sill, not the actual window. And them checking drones is a good thing so far. That means that uh, they are just blatantly walking through. Thanks for sub Vi Vive Live Gaming. Pronounce that right. I'm just looking at the team names. Doctor Love ninety nine, Puggy man, man. Anyone who owns a pug hates animals. I'm just throwing that out here right now. You cannot say you're a lover of animals if you own a pug, because that means you literally paid to have a animal suffer. My hot take. Is that an Azami? On the other side? No, it's not. That's weird. It looks like it is, but it's not. Like, I'm not crazy, right? That texture looks like it's an Azami. Getting lit up from below and he has no idea. Oh, he gets down. Okay. Oh, that's a, a pistol smoke. We are definitely in silver below. What do you mean paid for it to suffer? Because you're paying for a pug, and it means that if you buy a pug, you are endorsing their whole, you know, breeding pugs, which are just bred to suffer, and then you're supporting it. You literally paid just for an animal to, like, suffer all its life. It'd be like if someone is having a kid and paid for them to, like, genetically modify the kid so that it can never live a happy life. Like, they would be stuck in a bed, can't do anything, suffers every waking moment. Like, that would not be a good parent. That's why people should not get pugs. They're absolutely fucked. So far from what I've seen, this guy is not that good. So I'm very curious what occurred for them to accuse him. Let me make sure I got... Yeah, I did get the name right. Uh, and also, keep in mind... The submitters team, the orange team, they banned Monty and Clash. So they're the ones doing the hacker bans. What is this mirror? What rank are we in? They reinforce that wall, put a mirror here, I guess, to watch that, but then they don't reinforce this wall. How's that mirror supposed to stay up if they can just shoot through the wall? I, okay, whatever. And they're on drone while their teammates planting. I am very confused 
what's happening. Oh, okay, they have a mirror there. I don't think they can set it off because I think there's a meat jammer there. Someone's on the diffuser. He did have a very good reaction time on the person coming from connector. I think that was the mute. But I don't think that's necessarily suspicious when you're in a post-plant situation holding a cross with your teammate. Like, you should be able to react pretty confidently when someone runs through the angle you're holding. There's some serious strat going into that setup. Mirrors are, like... Probably one of the defining ways to determine whether someone is good or bad at the game. Because, like, you can see someone like me. If I play Mira, I know where to put it. I'm fairly confident in what I do. Blah, 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 blah. And you can see someone like Rob, who puts down his mirrors on, like, the dumbest walls. He's like, this will work. And they don't think about the consequences of their own actions, which is fine. I'm not saying everyone has to know. But, like, it is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to tell whether someone's really good at the game or not. So far, it looks like these guys are actually somewhat of a coordinated stack, this team, because... Oh, okay. Okay. I may have judged too harshly. This is actually an okay strap because of the Azamis. I forgot that they had Azami. That makes a little bit more sense. It's still a very risky and dumb setup because once this gets opened above... If you were to sit here and peek blue and someone's over here, they can just take your head off for free. You basically have both of the mirrors. Like, you only need to hold one angle to kill someone here. And you can also, I believe, destroy this mirror from the angle from garage just by shooting through the wall. It would be risky because they could peek up here and kill you. But it is pretty doable. Still don't think it's a good strat. But that's fine. So they go one for one on the attempt for plant. Thermite dies, but so does Cap Can. I think it was. Or maybe it was Maestro, I can't tell. No, it was Maestro, because Cap Can died early. This also would be so easy for Buck to destroy from above. Vertical destruction, you just destroy both mirrors. Oh. I was reading chat and I just thought he got a kill here. Hmm. Okay, so Maverick's on drone. Let me see what the drone sees. He seemed a bit too ready. Okay, so he sees the mute coming, so if he were to say left like left of blue door or whatever this wouldn't be the worst peak but it did almost look like the buck basically looked at him through the wall and was ready but i don't think he did there was a drone call out could have been made reaction time would not have been that crazy and then almost dies dropping there I think that was fun. I think? I don't know. The only slightly suspicious part was the mute, but I think a call out could have been made in that time. Been like in blue, in blue. So then he looks over blue. You don't have to say like left blue. Just say like in blue. Wait, who killed Flores? Definitely not counting. Guy isn't hacking, I report him as just ass. I mean, again, as I literally say every single time, in which somehow people are always unable to comprehend, you have to watch the entire match. As we've had multiple occasions where someone, uh, was not suspicious and we're like we don't think this person's cheating and then the very last round blatantly turns on their hacks and traces someone through the wall and headshots them calling it when it's only half done 
not really a, a good idea. They can always be cheating. In this case, the blitz is right above him, and I don't think either of them are aware of the other one. Oh, Blitz is aware of the cab now. Oh god, what is Did I just watch? Did he try to flash him? I think he did, which is why he's standing there like self stunned. These four flashes. Oh, he, he flashes him there. But doesn't get flashed at all? I, he should have been flashed, I think. Somehow he didn't get flashed at all. He doesn't know that Finca's on the staircase. He was looking outside for Finca. I just love dick. Hmm. So far though, um, nothing too crazy. The only thing I can think of is the mute. But again, calling out, just saying, hey, in blue. Swinging on that would have perfectly lined up with them. Thanks for sub, Felix. I think my girlfriend is cheating on me. Can you do a replay of her? Um, I think I already, I'm assuming, already looked at the footage last night. And I can confirm that unless you're, uh, you got like a 9-inch pecker there, she definitely was not with you that one time. I, I carefully reviewed the footage and found it to be evident enough of cheating. This guy also hops on a lot of cameras. See, that's the normal mirror setup. That's the good one. The good shit. Oh, I wonder if he's going to go for a C4. Just kidding. He has barbed wire. Okay. He just stood out in the open there. That was a coincidence, right? His positioning is bad. His aim hasn't been stellar. So I'm going to assume this is a coincidence. And not... Not a, uh, a wall hack. He didn't even see the Cali, so I feel like that must have been a coincidence. You mean to look at stairs? Probably. Which is why I'm saying it's probably a coincidence. I think he looks away. Yeah, it dies to Flores. That makes sense. And unless he goes crazy, I don't have enough evidence to say anything about him cheating. But she could. He could go just absolutely insane here and kill five of them. What's he looking at? Mm, they have a drone literally on him and no one has checked it. Which means that he can jump out here completely safe. They don't... Actually, Cali has a claymore down, but I don't know where. It's 
Still not on the right drone. I just want him to do something. Jump out. Stop popping on those cameras. You're not going to learn anything from this. What are you... Oh, it stresses me out to see people play like this. They finally saw him on camera after he hopped on and off camera 15 fucking times. Stop hopping on the cameras. Oh my god. Not even a nice shot. Jumps in. Free kill. Okay. Uh, not cheating. From what I could tell, he is a silver with a 0 0.83 KD, level 116, and a Carl Weezer profile photo. And his previous name was Deeper underscore Daddy. I don't think he's cheating. He's also lost seven matches and abandoned one compared to his five wins. I think it's fine. 29 20 06. Probably this one. We have Eclip Eclipsite.tmp who's accusing I'm Rusty Ice, his own teammate. And they went Ash. They are cheating. 100%. I can already confirm. Because when they're on your team, they're not droning. They're Ash. Chances are. they went, This went to overtime? It's a, this is definitely going to be a situation of them team killing him to try to lose the match. Because, look, match is already almost over. He's 100% just about to pop off. Easy ace, yeah. He's walling. He's hacking. He's vibing. Even with his hacks, he's so slow to aim. Okay, he's 100% cheating. So that helps speed things up a little bit they lose. I'm assuming they win. Because I assume they can only team kill him so much. He really uh, downplayed the cheats this time. Is he trying to be... He's trying to hide his cheats now. Look, he's like looking outside even though he knows where they all are. I don't know how they lose. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, he tried to hip fire. Alright. Let's find out who wins. Yeah, the cheating team or teammate wins. Okay. 15. I wonder if he drops 20. He does not. Two of them get kills. They have not been banned, from what I can tell. They still have a 2.15 KD. In silver. How are you blatantly cheating like that and you're still in silver? 29-23. It's the cafe match. We have Asachi, who is accusing Pilkington. I could day on Friday, I had a 12 and 0 game, nice. And then I had the same three cheater three games in a row. Double nice, that's karma. You did too well that the world's trying to punish you. Okay, I, I noticed a little bit at the end there that he, even though looked right at the ash, didn't notice the ash staring at them. That was locked on. That wasn't even... Trying to hide it, I don't think. I think we got a case of the obviouses. Right? The 
This is definitely an obvious cheater, I think. I think I noticed one small thing. I don't know if I noticed it or right or not. No, it's just a stutter in the match replay. idea what they're doing. Honestly, I'd be willing to look up their stats after this round just because of that lock on to Ash through the wall. That's a 4k headshots only, I think. I can't remember if Thermite was a headshot or not. Oh look, they just happen to be running right towards where the last person is without having to wait for intel or anything. And watch, they're probably gonna flick to them through the wall here. Not through the wall, but... Headshot. Ace first round. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb here and already accuse them of cheating. It's only the first round, but I don't think it's that hard to tell. Pilkington. 3.18 KD in ranked up from their previous 1.3 after nine matches 13 matches overall somehow they have a 3.18 kd and in casual they have a 5.67 it's only three matches so that one will give them some leeway on but yeah they are definitely cheating uh okay last match the coastline one i believe right yep we have arctic princes who's accusing Lil Durka. I just love Dex, bro. Lil Durka. Going cap can. Cap can with Cybertruck and Silencer. Hmm. Six round match, by the way. I feel like this is going to be an obvious match. I don't want it to be. I want it to actually be one where we can evaluate, but it might be. Which I've been noticing a lot with our recent videos. The first two matches are like, you know, oh, it could be, could not be. And then the l later matches are all just like, nah, this is a very blatant cheater. Is that bulletproof? He has an impact. It honestly looks like he's lining him up through the wall and then trying to shoot him doesn't realize that there's a shield there. Bro, you have an impact. And he's just constantly like pre-aiming and pre-firing where his head is. Well, main buck and use Cybertruck. Disgusting. The Cybertruck Hollow is by far the worst side in the game. I actually liked it at the beginning when it first came out, and then I started using it and realized how bad it actually was. It takes up so much of your screen and gives you so little vision, and then the dot isn't even good. Because, like, at least the other sites, they have their pros and cons. Like, this one's literally just only cons. I feel like this guy should be doing more, but is holding back it. Hold on. Is it just me? Or did it seem like they were having a seizure while trying to control their aim there? Apex jitter aim. I still don't understand how people jitter aim in Apex. I was playing with uh, Cross and Priest and they were trying to teach me, they're like, you have to jitter aim. I'm like, it feels unnatural to like, shake uncontrollably. 
Also, uh... Is there a reason why the compass says OG Aquarium? I just noticed that. I haven't really been paying attention to that in other matches we've watched, but this is the, the OG. Fuck, as soon as I look at the chat. Well, very clearly sees the head. very clearly lines him up through the wall? Right? Yeah. Wasn't even trying to hide it. Okay, so cheating? OG is Obergeskos in German, means second floor. No wonder the Germans are always so angry. Their words make zero sense. Shisha Lounge. Probably is uh, German. Yeah, I think this guy is cheating. He's literally tracking him through the wall there. What? Uh. Yikes. He didn't even notice the claymore. He was actually about to run through it, but luckily his teammates killed the last person. He would have died there. What? How? Why are the cheaters so bad? Level 40. Cheating and unranked. UKD. Well, chat, we had, uh... We had two matches where we actually had to use our brain, and the rest of the matches, they didn't even try to hide it. Hackers are just shameless, which we just went through. So the first hour was three matches. The last 15 minutes was three matches. So Rainbow Six released a new, or like they tweeted about their update on anti-cheat and like cheaters in general. And I could be wrong, but I feel like this was basically the exact same thing that they released last time. So this is their April update on anti-cheat, or March update, sorry. Um, so they talk about the amount of people they banned recently. Cool, don't really care about that. Uh, they should always be banning people. Don't know why November was such a low, but it was apparently. Um, and I swear they talked about this last time. Like I remember Maverick Bullets was a big thing where they were like, we finally fixed this. Freezing other players, I think they mentioned before. Repelling anywhere, I'm pretty sure they mentioned before. Melee destruction is the only new one, I think, from here. So I feel like they just repeated exactly what they put last time. But I could be wrong. They, have, they tweet so much, that's going to be hard for me to go back and find the other one. But I feel like it's uh, not that great of an update. And then they said privacy. They said streamer mode was coming with the new season, and then they didn't release it. So apparently they're still working on it. Uh, phone verification, that's something new that they talked about, and then they talked about cheaters. Or, like, how to report cheaters. That's it. So, yeah. Not much of an update. Uh, but yeah, that is it for Hacker Replay today. Six matches, four and a half cheaters, probably five cheaters. One innocent. <laughs>